Is your iPhone tracking and listening to you? Believe it or not, it is. So in this video, I'm going to show you what settings to turn off on your iPhone to stop your iPhone from tracking and listening to you. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So to get started, we simply want to open up the settings app on our iPhone. And if you don't have it on your home screen like me, you can open it by simply swiping from right to left until you get to the app library and then just search settings right there. Now that we're in the settings, scroll down. And when you get to privacy and security, select that. And the first thing we're going to do in privacy and security is scroll all the way down to the bottom and go to analytics and improvements. So most likely by default, your iPhone is set to share iPhone analytics. So this is where it is sharing data from your iPhone with Apple. And as you can see, if we scroll through here, you might have some of these turned on. I've turned off some of them. They also have improve hand washing. So this helps Apple improve hand washing by sharing limited motion and audio data. So they're actually sharing audio data from your iPhone with Apple, and we can limit that and turn it off by simply toggling off anything that's green here. So I recommend turning off everything here and then going to the top and turning off share iPhone analytics. This will prevent your iPhone from sharing all this analytical data with Apple. So once you've gone through the analytics and improvement area, go back, and right here below analytics and improvements, go to Apple advertising. So I've already done this, but when you go into here and you see personalized ads, if this is turned on, go ahead and turn that off so that it is grayed out like mine. And this will limit Apple's ability to deliver relevant ads to you based on the analytics that they have. So if they have any data about you, they won't be sharing that and playing advertisements based on that data. You can also go into view ad targeting information, and this is where you can edit some of these settings as well and just see what's going on. So once we've gone through Apple advertising, go back. And what we need to do is go up to the top of the privacy and security section and you'll see tracking. Go ahead and open that up. And what I recommend doing is making sure that you turn off allow apps to request to track you. Because as you can see, this is tracking not only on your iPhone, but across apps and websites. So if you turn this off, it'll help your iPhone limit apps from tracking you across websites that you use, across different apps that you use. And if you do have it enabled, you can see which apps are currently tracking you. So I'm just going to toggle this off and this will prevent any future apps from requesting to track me. And you also want to toggle off any of the apps below. So once we've gone into the tracking there, the next thing I recommend doing under privacy and security is simply going to location services, which is right above tracking. In here, I do recommend having location services turned on. That is a useful item for you to use on your iPhone for things such as emergency weather alerts or maps or even Find My, which allows you to find your iPhone if you lost it. But what I recommend doing is looking at this list of apps that have access to your location. And if you see anything that you don't want to have access to your location, go ahead and turn that off. So right now I have Facebook right here and it does not have access to my location. But if it was set to always and Facebook doesn't really need access to my location, I could change it to never. And then when I go back, it'll say never next to it. And that app no longer has access to my location. But the next thing I wanna do in the location services area is go down to system services at the bottom. And this is where your iPhone is sharing your location with Apple. So we can definitely turn off some of these things. Some of them are needed. But I recommend turning off some of them, such as Apple Pay Merchant Identification. That's just where if you use Apple Pay, it'll use your location to help share which store you were at with the merchant. So that can be useful for them, but doesn't really give you any benefit. I'm also going to turn off HomeKit just because I don't actually have any HomeKit devices. And if you don't have any, go ahead and turn that off as well. Keep on things like Find My Phone. That's very important. But in here, one major one I recommend turning off is go down to significant locations. You'll need to unlock your phone to do this. But once you unlock your phone, I recommend turning off significant locations because this is where your iPhone is actually tracking significant locations that you go to. So your home, work, stores that you visit often, it's gonna track those locations and actually store it on your iPhone. And as you can see, it stores it in iCloud as well. So this is basically a history of the places that you often visit and that's all gonna be stored on your phone. So you could first go to clear history at the bottom and go ahead and confirm you wanna clear this history. Once it's cleared, go ahead and turn it off at the top. So that's a major one to turn off there where your iPhone is actually tracking your history. 
So let's go back. And in the system services here, one more thing I recommend turning off is going to be iPhone analytics. Go ahead and toggle that off. And then they're no longer using and sharing your location data with iPhone for analytics. So this can be really good for your privacy as well. All right, so let's go back to the main page of the settings. And the next thing we're gonna do is simply scroll down and in the second section, find Siri. So if you have talk to Siri turned on and that's where you can say a key phrase and it'll activate Siri on your iPhone, that means your iPhone is always listening for that key phrase. So what I recommend doing is turning that off and I'm gonna show you a different way to actually activate Siri that is more privacy friendly. So to do that, once in Siri, select talk to Siri and I recommend turning off that. And as you can see, this will stop Siri from being activated if you say a key phrase. So just turn off Siri. But what you wanna do is turn on press side button for Siri. So go ahead and select enable Siri. And as you can see, the talk to Siri is turned off, but now if I hold down the power button on my iPhone, it's gonna activate Siri down there so I can talk to Siri. But when I decide to, and it's not constantly listening for me to say Siri or hey Siri. So this is a really important privacy step for me because I don't want my phone always listening to me and trying to listen for me to say a key phrase. So once you've done that, you can go back. And because we've done that, I just recommend going to Siri and dictation history and just going ahead and clearing this information because then that is no longer stored on your iPhone. So this is gonna be the history of what you've said to Siri, any sounds that it's picked up, things like that. So delete Siri and dictation history. Once you've done that, you can go back. So now that we've cleared out the Siri and dictation history, go back to the main page of the settings and the next thing I recommend doing is turning on some privacy enhancement within the internet browser, the Safari browser on our iPhone. So to do that from this main page, the home page of the settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, select apps, and then we're just gonna go down to the S's and select Safari. Once in Safari, roll down to the bottom and right above the bottom, you'll see privacy and security. I recommend having prevent cross-site tracking turned on, so you wanna make sure that's turned on. Then select hide IP address and make sure that trackers and websites. So this will help you hide your IP address when you're using the internet and it stops websites and different advertising companies from tracking you while you're using Safari on your iPhone. Additionally, I recommend turning on fraudulent website warning. And this will just give you a warning if your phone recognizes that there's something fishy about the website that you're visiting. Now, once we've done that, there's one optional thing you can do, which is scroll to the top of Safari and you'll see search engine here. And by default, that's gonna be Google. Now, if you wanna use Google, that's fine. But what I recommend using for privacy is going to be DuckDuckGo. So I'll just change that to DuckDuckGo and go back. And now anytime I search in Safari using just the regular search bar, that's going to use DuckDuckGo, which is a privacy focused search engine rather than Google. All right, so those were some steps you can take on your iPhone to stop it from tracking you and to stop it from listening to you. If this video helped you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.